Hello, our friends, Evolutionary Energy Arts family. Hello there. Welcome back. So, guys, we were talking yesterday about a swarm that was going on in the Pacific Northwest and the Juan de Fuca Plate. And as we see at this moment, we basically have uh, four right here. So they did, as many people caught, uh, another six plus that happened that got wiped out. But, you know, again, uh, USGS, NASA, all these uh, different agencies, we, we know they have agendas. They definitely have agendas. And, and that's just what it is. You know, they're, they want to control the narrative. Yeah, of course, we still have to use them. Uh, I still have to use, but then feel into it. So 6.4, and we had a 5.4. We have over here a 4.7 and a 4.8. And we're keeping our eyes on it. We see there is some activity going on, which, again, they, they do not show typically everything that's going on in the Pacific Northwest. Uh, we'll keep our eyes open. want to thank all our Patreons. And we couldn't do it without you guys, as always. Um, all the videos go up on Patreon all the time. And <laughs> is this an IQ test for humanity? <clears throat> is this an IQ test? I, I don't know how anybody <clears throat> could possibly think that he makes any decisions. I, I just listen. Listen to this. Now I want to hand it over to the president of Ukraine, who has as much courage as he has determination. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. President Putin. We're going to beat President Putin. And now I want to hand it over to the president of Ukraine, who has as much courage as he has determination. Ladies and gentlemen, President Putin. President Putin. We're going to beat President Putin. I, I mean, you can't make this up. <clears throat> if it was one time, if it was one time, you know, you might say, well, you know, he's getting up there. But it's not one time. And in fact, it, it, I think it's totally purposeful at this point. I think it's just, it's an IQ test. Uh, I do think that <laughs> the, the real controllers are, are laughing to see how much they can do uh, and still have the sheep just follow him off the cliff. I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be Vice President, but I think she's not qualified to be President. I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be Vice President, but I think she's not qualified to be President. I wouldn't have picked Vice President Trump to be Vice President, but I think she's not qualified to be President. Uh, Vice President Trump? Uh, yeah. I thought that was pretty creative. Now, there are some people out there that now have full-time jobs because of all these bloopers, because of everything there is to laugh at, look at, point at. And, uh, you know, when it's all said and done, anyone and everyone who's taking this seriously, it's it's not serious. For them, it's a game. For them, it's a show. For them, it's just something that that they do to get people worried and concerned so somebody might be having a conversation in the post office saying oh my gosh look how senile our president is no our president is not senile he is a very good actor yeah, they all are all seven or how, however many there are um, i think you were picking up 10 in total and three being held in reserve this is an IQ test in so many ways. It really has been. And it's the same thing what Simon says, you know, that, that which happened in 2020. Simon says, and they're going to roll it out again. They're going to roll it out again. And they're going to see how many, you know, follow Simon again off the cliff. With that, I'll take your questions. I've been given a list of people to call on here. With that, so again, you know, uh, because they want to avoid people, I tell you what, um, what were we looking at last night? Um, gosh, I, oh, this. <laughs> we were on like a local um, news channel that was covering and had uh, a live going where people could comment. I couldn't comment. I, I was logged in as evolutionary and I made comment and it was whited out and I switched to E Arts. It was whited out. I switched to um heart's home it was whited out so you know we are banned and i've noticed this before i couldn't comment on a live with uh roger mud fossil university um 
I, I have been on uh, Wayne, uh, I forget what his mm-hmm. channel is, but one of our uh, dear friends, uh, <laughs> Wages World, Wages World, Wayne's World, Wayne's World, party time. Yeah, still stuck in the 80s a little bit. Yeah. The 80s were fun, guys. Fun, guys. Yes. And I don't mean mushrooms. But again, we're, we're shadow banned. We are shadow banned. We are so shadow banned, and it's just so obvious um, because they can't have us waking up others. So, yeah, they, the, he's been given a list of people to call on here. They already have a lot of people blocked off. You know, I see so many people say, Did you take my comment down? Where did my comment go? I have no clue because I'll go check the holding. Uh, there is a spot where you could check. Uh, possibly uh, inappropriate comments and I'll open it up and there won't be anything in there. Occasionally I'll open it up and I'll see something uh, in there from like a regular and it's just stuff like, oh, much love guys. Thank you. What's inappropriate about that? Well, I guess when you're talking about demonic entities that are in charge, well, love is inappropriate to them because they can't have us being peaceful and trying to create a peaceful, loving society that goes against this whole political system. It does. It does to to such a high degree. And it goes on and on and on. And, you know, there is really no end to it. And the only end to it that I can see is when each individual person puts an end to it for themselves and they stop playing the game stop buying into the narrative and and just just stop you know just do do the next right thing keep doing the next right thing don't fall down and tumble into the void of negativity no absolutely and here's another i'm gonna go to south korea where you get the chip what are you doing i'm gonna get japan and korea i'm gonna go to south korea where you get the chip what are you doing I'm going to get Japan and Korea. I'm going to go to South Korea where you get the chip. What are you doing? I'm going to get Japan and Korea. I'm going to go. Is he, is, is, you know, I mean, you can't make this up. Is, is it somebody whispers something in his ear saying, Joe, Joe, no, Joe, you're supposed to say. Or is it that he's seeing things dimensionally? Or is this just a complete act? And again, it's just comedy, a, a comedic IQ test for the planet. I think they find it entertaining. I think they do too. Uh, they, they, it, if you look at it, it is what it is. Meanwhile, 40 Chinese banks uh, have vanished in one week. Mm, yeah, this started with uh, Jianji Bank, and it is growing. It isn't just a matter of time. It, it's all a house of cards, and the whole system truly is just one big charade. It's one big charade. Um, you know, I got like an alert and it said, oh, your credit score dropped. Oh, really? Why? Well, because we paid down our balances. So wait a minute. You're in less debt than you were and your credit score drops? Yeah, because they want you in debt. This this is the whole thing. It's debt slavery. This is a debt slavery system. And you have four Chinese warships crossed into the U.S. EEZ uh, area over here, as you see near Alaska. There's a lot of different drills going on. The drills have been nonstop. Um, So, you know, there's been nothing but just war games going on for quite a long time. So we keep our eyes open on that. Meanwhile, a jet fighter crashed during training in northern Poland. They don't know uh, if the pilot made it out or not um you know as the war machine is getting ready to ramp up the reason too i think that they hold off they're holding off as long as possible because they know once they play that card they're going to have a lot of open rebellion rebellion you're going to have a lot of people that are simply not going to go along with it so it's it's they know that once it's it's kind of like um you know one of those games where you have a time allotment and they got to turn an hourglass over and the sand's going to start running out. So, you know, it feels like they they holding off until they have as many cards in place as possible. 
Um, this right here is uh, a, a person, Kristen Megan. She worked for the U.S. Air Force as an environmental specialist. She set out to debunk chemtrails in the process of trying to debunk it. I realized it was actually coming right out of my office as <clears throat> I was one of the people approving the chemicals, but she didn't know what they were being used for. Yeah, and the reality is, as we've shared with you from remote viewing and the guides, this is what took out the Denisovans. Uh, it was stuff that was being sprayed up in the sky. They didn't even know it. They didn't even know it. And, you know, that's, that's why. It wasn't Homo sapiens necessarily that, that took out the Denisovans, of which, you know, some of their DNA is in some of us. But when you look at Neanderthals and Denisovans, they were actually too much for the system. Uh, the system wanted a more controllable species, so they modified, and we have Homo sapiens. So here you see, does anybody remember when the U.S. government invaded Baghdad, killed half a million people, then awarded Halliburton with $39.5 billion for reconstruction of Iraq, and what do we see? BlackRock and J.P. Morgan helped set up Ukraine Reconstruction Bank because they make a ton of money in, in making the weapons and producing the weapons and constantly ship them over. And then reconstruction is a ton of money. And it all goes into the same greedy little hands. It is blood money. It is completely blood money. Then we had this so many years ago uh, going back uh, 20, what, 23 years ago now, 24 years ago. These are decades old. According to some estimates, we cannot track $2.3 trillion in transactions. Because, you know, it's been a money laundering scheme the whole time. You know, they are stealing from every single person. Meanwhile, California is imposing permanent water restrictions for the first time ever. Permanent. This comes after 20,000 cubic feet per second flowed into the ocean last year because of inadequate storage. So mandates, of course, will be in place and $10,000 per day fines for suppliers that don't comply. This is again about, well, maybe they will understand water if they can't get climate change to quote a few member. Absolutely. And and Newsom is, is again the one that uh, Joni Petrie comes up with looking at the astrology charts. She sees Newsom as the most likely candidate on the on the Democratic side. When you look at the charts, um, it looks like he would be uh, elevated. And of course, California, they, they want the whole country to be like California, where if you decide you want to move out of it, they're going to keep taxing you as long as they possibly can. This is a slavery system. You know, this right here says NATO headquarters using the same sign as the Waffen SS. You remember the SS, the stormtroopers uh, from the, are we the Nazis is the question. Now there is over here a little context thing. Oh, as shown in the comments in this picture, it's been photoshopped specifically to make it look like the SS logo. Certain sections are highlighted while other sections are muted, removed. Well, okay, you know, but the reality is, well, let's let's take a look. And again, this is what they're looking at, like lightning bolts, right? The Waffen SS. This is the building. So, yeah, it has been shadowed and grayed, but you could still see, you know, the pattern is still there. Um, not that it is or isn't. It doesn't really matter when you get down to it. Why do they make things in this way? Well, they have their reasons. Everything is a big, big uh, symbolic joke on us in so many ways. You cannot deny this, though. Werner von Braun, you can see, top Nazi official, became the head of NASA. That's history. That's undeniable. Walter Hallstein, another Nazi official, head of the EU Commission. Adolf Husinger, NATO's chief of staff. Kurt Waldheim, Secretary General of the United Nations. These top Nazis that were right below Hitler became the head of NASA EU Commission, NATO's Chief of Staff, and the Secretary General of the UN. That's undeniable. That's just a simple fact. So whether that building was grayed out by somebody or not, we get the point.
Ah, we do. <clears throat> we do. It's just about getting it out there so people can understand. And to me, it's not like there were pieces missing. It was very, very clear what those buildings look like. <laughs> Somebody did a favor of highlighting things just to just to make a point, but that didn't need to be. So we can see what's going on and to there there's just so much of this world that is acting together when it comes to the controllers they're all acting as one and that's not going to change we know about the burning of the library in alexandria and you know when you look at these books the real reason why every ancient superpower sought to conquer india and tibet it's this massive wealth of, of history that lies here, uh, not translated in Sanskrit and in Tibetan. It's huge. It's enormous. And again, what's under the Vatican? Under the Vatican, this is really why we have these wars and conquests. Uh, this is why the British Empire, you know, took over India. And really, there is no difference between the British Empire and, and the Roman Empire when you come down to it. And it does trace back again uh, to the same draconian system. It's all the same draconian system. This guy hopped out of a boat and onto a shark. Now, correct me if I'm wrong, because they didn't do any uh, sort of looking into it. But um, I believe from memory there are what's called whale sharks which are very docile and, and big and i'm guessing that that's what this is though i do see other um other fins out there you know so don't try this at home kids but <laughs> that is pretty pretty wild um it'll blow your mind sometimes to see what people can learn about what animals they can trust and you know, obviously, you don't want to go jumping on the back of a hungry crocodile or alligator. Um, but at the same time, uh, people with their energy and and giving off a certain energy, absolutely. I mean, I've had uh, dolphins and manatees right next to me and, and not felt um, even the slightest bit of, of threat because, you know, overall, they're not threatening and also... You know, it, when it comes to dolphins, boy, are they intelligent. There's so much intelligence there. And they might even be more spiritually evolved than many humans. Now, this is another thing I wouldn't I wouldn't recommend doing. And, and actually, there's no way I would do it. Uh, if it's a distortion of the lens or what have you, uh, it's still pretty terrifying. Yeah, it's kind of hard to watch. Yeah, it is. It is. But people will push the limits. Absolutely. Look at that. Are you nauseous yet? <laughs> it's fun. It's fun. Well, you know, biking is fun. And, you know, gosh, I was a kid. I used to love to ride my bike. And yes, I do remember having one with a big banana seat and it was red and had the, the bigger handlebars like this. And look at this photograph. Does this bring back memories to anybody? All the rear end of that car certainly does. I had one like that too. I had a, mm, what was it, 73? I'm trying to remember. What, no, it was a 71 satellite. Yeah, I had a 71 satellite. Um, man, I love that car. That was really cool. Oh, yeah, there's a Mustang over there, I think. Man, you know, the 70s were pretty cool too. We were talking about the 80s. I don't know. What year is this? maybe maybe 75 76 this this probably is about m my age at that particular time that's cute i love the banana seat i had one too and i do remember a lot of friends you know in those clothes too and yeah uh, i remember going around barefoot riding on my bike all day long uh, i remember go going outside in the and playing uh from the in the summer from the time the sun came up to the sun came down, uh, I would be outdoors playing, getting exercise. You know, shoot, in high school, I, I entered high school, I weighed 128 pounds at 5 foot 11. And we were active. We were just active. You know, we're not active enough as a society. Yes, there are um, a lot of athletes out there, and there are elite level, you know, athletes at that but as a whole, if you don't use it, you lose it. And humanity's gotten used to using their fingers or not even your fingers anymore. You could just, you know, voice to text. It is. It's pretty, 
pretty lazy these days. And that has been purposeful. It's been a purposeful cultivation. Uh, what giant kid was playing with his, his Tinker Toys or his Lincoln Logs? I think he was having fun too. Uh, when you look at stuff like this, this really looks like somebody having fun. Who was able to balance the rocks like this? Did that happen naturally? Uh, you know, they'll tell us so many things happen naturally that I just can't buy. I know. I, I kind of dare people to put it in kindergarten and see what the kids say. They'll probably have the right answer. And then nature enjoying itself. Look at this crow having fun. He's windsurfing. I mean, that's awesome. Now, you know, it's, it's awesome when you get out of body and, and you realize that you're out of body and then fly around uh, in your energy body. That is certainly fun. Um, I've seen many orbs. And again, when, when we talk about orbs, spirit orbs, these are people. And some spirit orbs you see may actually be living people uh, that are simply astral projecting, uh, if you've ever caught that. And of course, the astral plane is loaded, loaded with beings. It, it's, it's more populated on that side than it is on this side. People wait in line to get back on this ride. It is a lot of fun, guys. It absolutely is. And, you know, I don't know if you're a mountain or a beach person, but, you know, each one of us has our, our preferences. I, I do love them both. I'm definitely more of a beach person than a mountain person, but I do love the hikes in the mountains. They're so peaceful. But, man, there's nothing like getting to the beach and just just enjoying the waves and the electricity be between the water and the sun and the wind it's just awesome hope you guys are able to enjoy a little splash yourselves indeed source bless and namaste namaste